Now in Zimbabwe, the Citizen Coalition for Change legislators, uh, Jacob Sakala and Godfrey Sitole, have abandoned their planned appeal against the magistrates ruling denying them bail for the fifth time. The two members of parliament who are facing charges of inciting public violence have now shifted their attention to the earlier plea to be given state papers in order to prepare for their trial. This is according to the attorney Jeremiah Bamu, who told the court that his clients were no longer interested in appealing Tuesday's ruling, which denied them bail. Bamu further indicated that although, in terms of the law, the state can give the defense papers two days before the trial, it was a short period to prepare. He stressed that his clients were anxious to prove their innocence. Now, joining us live from Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe, to discuss this is the lawyer representing both legislators, uh, Jeremiah Bamu. Uh, good afternoon to you, Jeremiah, and one welcome to you. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for having me. Now, you're the lawyer representing the two legislators, and they've decided to give up their freedom to be out after appealing for bail uh, five times. Uh, why is this so? Well, when it is clear that no relief is coming from the court, there will be no point in continuing seeking uh, the same thing when you know and it's predictable that the court will always turn you down at each and every turn. Now, other than the frustration from the court, what else would you say is the reason for not getting uh, bail? Well, the reasons that we are being given in court do not seem to be in consonance with the established facts on the ground. So we are no longer sure whether the reasons have any bearing on the law or they do not have a bearing on the law. Uh, just taking, for example, the court is saying uh, Job Sikala violated a bail condition by posting a video on social media which was inciting members of the public. But the statements, or rather the uh, affidavits and other documents we are obtaining from the police uh, after the investigations are revealing that Job Sikala did not post any video on any social mm. media platform. And despite placing this before the court, the court still says he posted the video. So we no longer know where the court is getting this from because the evidence that we've been given by the police that we've tendered before the court uh, uh, paint a completely different picture from what the court is saying. So we do not know where the court is finding its reasons for denying bail from. Now, what's the state of mind of your clients, uh, Job Sakala and Godfrey Sitole, and are they optimistic uh, that they can get justice when the case goes to trial? That can be our only hope, uh, because then the court possibly, having listened to the witnesses, will not find anything else to deny justice to them on, unless the court will proceed to create its own evidence against them. But from what we've been given so far, there is nothing on the papers that points to any offence as having been committed at all. Now, finally, uh, Mr. Bamu, uh, you did indicate that the defence papers were given two days before the trial and it's a short time to prepare. But you did know about these charges a while ago. Uh, what, what's the difference uh, and what difference does the timing make? Uh, the difference is in that when you are told the charge, you are simply told that you broke the law, uh, the law which says do not do A, B, C. But what we really need from the state papers are the details of what they say was actually done. And that is what we can only find from the witness statements and uh, all other evidence they intend to lead at the trial. They are telling us that they have engaged experts who have in the past two to three months failed to produce an expert report on whatever their findings are on uh, the evidence they have at hand. So what we are telling the court is if they are failing to produce expert evidence in three months from the alleged date of the commission of the offence, it would be unfair for the state and the court to then say the accused persons must prepare and defend themselves in only two days when it's taking the state over three months to prepare a single, a single report from supposedly experts in the field. Fair enough. Uh, thank you very much, Jeremiah and Palmer, for taking time to talk to us in uh, New Central now. We do appreciate your insights.
Thank you very much.